All right, folks. Just want to spend a few minutes talking about uh, these PowerX batteries, what they are, and why I got them. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a capacity test on the Fox Novo uh, 4S charger, where we're going to top these batteries off, drain them down, and fill them back up, and uh, see where they are from an MAH perspective, right out of the package. Um, the AA batteries, and they're rated at uh, 2,700 or 2,700 MAH. Um, the reason I got these batteries is one is I feel that 2700 mAh is, is high and uh, I wanted to see if they live up to it and uh, you know I like using batteries, I like testing batteries, uh, I want my flashlights to be bright for as long as they can be bright and uh, so I wanted to buy stronger batteries. Now uh, some of the trade-off when you get a stronger battery like this is that they have less stuff in them that prohibits uh, bleed off or draining when not in use. So these batteries will degrade over time when they're sitting in a storage container like this or where they're sitting in your flashlight more than, say, like an end loop or uh, even an Energizer or Duracell rechargeable nickel metal hydrate battery, which this is a nickel metal hydrate battery. So there's a little bit of a trade-off there. Um, the stuff that they put in to make those other batteries last longer when not in use uh, reduces the amount of space they have in here for the chemicals that create the chemical reaction when a battery moves its electrons from positive to negative. So, all that being said, these are 2700 mAh AA batteries. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get them charged up. Take a look at the back of the uh, the battery package here. You see that uh, they have maximum life, ultra high capacity. Is that coming in on the thing? Uh, they can be rapidly charged and that is part of the reason they don't have that stuff in there uh, so they can charge a little bit faster so it's rechargeable up to hundreds of times it's pretty low considering in loops are saying that they can go over two thousand times memory free operation most batteries these days don't have memory um, and low impedance battery design so what i have right here is the uh... fox novo charger so let's go ahead and get these open now this is probably going to take a while I would imagine it's going to take a very long time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the charger and I'm going to kick the process off and then uh, maybe we'll check in during the process or, or afterwards, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're set up. We're going to be doing this at one amp and uh, let's see if you can see that we're in capacity mode. All right, that uh, that being said, I did want to say these are made by it looks like Maha Energy um, and in Japan. I don't know if that's going to come across. Let me see if I can auto focus on there for you. There you go. All right, folks, we'll check back in in a little bit. Thanks. All right, folks, we're back and. Uh, I may have done something wrong, I don't think so, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to run through this test another time. Uh, let me go ahead and share the results with you. So we get this tilted in a way that you guys can see it. Um, in a nutshell, they charged up to 1.41, 1 1.48, 1 1.41, 1 and 1.41 um, volts. And then uh, when you take a look at, let me see if I can get this to zoom in a little bit better. When you take a look at the capacity, we have one at 8831174, which is the highest, 941, and then, uh, let me turn this back on, um, 980. And keep in mind, these are rated at 2700, so maybe it's because I ran it, uh, the first test, at a, at a full amp. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to run it again at a half amp. Um, but again, you know, if these things don't improve over another cycle or two, um, they're definitely going to go back. So let's go ahead and give it another try, and I'll check in back with you guys later. All right, folks, and uh, we're back. This is actually the third charge for these batteries. Uh, we had a power flicker <laughs> during the second charge, and it caused it to uh, to reset. So anyhow, let's see how they came out. Let's see if it's going to come in. So this first one, uh, 1.39 volts, 2,349 mAh. 1.48 volts, 2419. 1.48 2222 and 1.41 um, Again, these are rated at 2700, and so uh, I'm a little bit disappointed by that. And I'm surprised to see 
3.9 versus, uh, um, I'm sorry, 1.39 versus 1.48. Um, I don't know if it's a big deal or not, but uh, I guess i got to think about it today. I'm probably going to end up sending these things back. All right. Thanks, everybody. All right, folks. I just wanted to do one more quick test uh, before I totally wrote these off and uh, let's see if it can show up here on the screen. And so I did a, a full discharge and charge at uh, at a half amp and uh, or 0.5. And uh, what I got was this one charged back up to 1.41 volts at uh, 13.54. Again, at a battery that's rated at 2,700 milliamps, it's it's bullshit, right? And then uh, this one came in 1.39 at 23.31, which isn't too bad. And this was 1.38 at 24.58. This is a uh, 1. 401 at the 2411 and it's and it's still going but uh you know it, these three finishing below way below is uh is enough for me to send these back and I hate to do that but uh I really don't see that I have another option uh I don't want to continue to play around with these batteries when I can get better performance out of uh something that's much cheaper anyhow that's it thanks everybody